Hi, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can add variation to our landscape using Smart Mask. Here, we are not trying to remove the tiling of textures, but instead of we are trying to get the natural effect. So when you talk about some landscape, uh, especially on the ground side, you have different variations. For example, here in this uh, place, we have grass and also we have a sand layer. So we are trying to use open land smart mask to get this behavior. And also we can um, simply control how we need to blend this. For example, do I need more of these things? We can do that if, if I don't want much, like we can have controls. We can control the sharpness, for example. We can put some higher value for the contrast and we can get the, I, I don't think we really need this, but you have options. All right, let's see how we can do this. Here we are using the modular development setup of open land. Basically we have a, a custom master material so we can uh, change anything we want on this one, not the the original open land uh, master material. If you don't know how to do that, just check the description below. I have a full tutorial on how you can set up this. First thing is let's open our material instance for this landscape. All right, let me put it aside. Okay. Now I'm gonna search for SM2. Basically, I'm trying to use the Smart Mask 2, which you can see here from the, the landscape material. So I'm gonna use this Smart Mask 2, SM2, uh, to blend uh, my sand layer and the uh, ground layer together. Right here, let me enable that, use a Smart Mask. Then it will start compiling for the first time, just wait until that. Okay, now we have a mask all over my landscape and this is not what, what we want so let's uh, tweak the mask to get what we really need all right first thing is threshold so i need to uh, have threshold threshold let's say thousand thousand uh, yeah like this now it's going upward direction but we need the other way around so here in the direction i'm gonna put minus one all right now we have something like this okay and then uh, from here i'm going to use the area noise so here you can see use area noise it's enabled by default but intensity is zero i'm going to put it that to one all right now it's gone uh, that's totally fine that's because of this edge smooth smoothness so i'm going to put that to zero all right now you can see there's a sharp edge uh, over here and that's totally fine we're going to fix it later on i think it, this this is too much so we need to control all right, these are the parameters we're gonna use. Uh, tiling, um, so I think I need, we need a little bit of more tiling. Let's say, let's put something around 800, but it's all over the place, that's totally fine. I'm gonna reduce the sharpness value, let's say 1.2. Now I, I don't have much. I think I'll go a little bit, uh, little bit more like one point. And now you can see now it has a nice, uh, nice sharp areas and also there's a nice blend here and, here and there. So we can control the blend using this in, uh, contrast uh, for example it's 20 if i put something around 200 you can, we can get a sharp edge but, but if you reduce that to 20 you can get this and if you put below 20 10 you can even get something like this and now i'm gonna add the actual texture into this uh, we cannot do this using the material instance because we need like to work on the master material that's why we are using the modular version of open land all right, now you can see in this mask, we have replacing material. So I'm gonna connect the sand material layer into here, simply like this, and then I'm gonna hit save. It will start compiling and just wait until that. Okay, now everything is good. So then inside my uh, material instance, there's at the bottom, maybe we have something called replace material. I'm gonna enable that. Also, I'm gonna remove the debug mask by uh, lowering this debug mask intensity to zero. Now we can see our sand layer uh, blending nicely with the ground. And uh, yeah, now we can uh, try to change our controls. For example, if we increase sharpness, we can get more sand. You get the idea. Like uh, I think in this case, I'll go for something around 1.5. All right, and yep. Yeah, I think now this looks good and you can uh, continue to like keep uh, playing with these values and get the get the result you are looking for now uh, let's go here now I, I mentioned like we have uh, some situation like this so let's go to our master material here you can see we put our smart mask to the sm2 as the end of these materials it will uh, affect whole my landscape with this one but here i'm i'm just focusing on the ground materials what we're trying to do is we i'm gonna get this mask and put it just in front of my ground material over here so it will only affect to my ground material. Quite easy to do that. I'm gonna remove all these connections for now. 
okay and i'm gonna connect the uh, this node into here so we have a continue continuation in our landscape so i'm gonna grab my sm2 and then i'm gonna connect my ground into here and into here so basically we put the smart mask in between my ground layer and the auto auto blending and then in for the replacing material i'm gonna simply use the sand into here okay and i'm gonna connect my mask so this is for the grass uh, and you, you can do many anything with this one for right now i'm gonna connect this into grass now everything looks good and then i'm gonna hit save right now now you can see it fixed the problem partially now here we we can get a really bl nice blend and but now over here uh we can see this sharp edge and that's because of this threshold we put it to some um, value like thousand and um here i'm gonna put something over five thousand so it like this and also i'm gonna do some blend uh edge smoothness something around thousand uh, thousand yeah so basically yeah you get a so we, we the, the threshold is five thousand and uh, between five thousand and four thousand there's a there's a blend so that's it with the smart mask and the blending uh landscape materials together all right um see you soon with something interesting bye